<laughs> well, hello, Minecraft Maniacs. It's the Frog Queen here, and welcome uh, to another video. This video, we are talking all about roofs. Recently, I had some people ask me, what, what are some good uh, tips for building a roof? So I myself had to sit down and, and write them out of things that I keep in mind when I'm when I'm making a roof. So we're in uh, one of my random build worlds, which I've done a video on uh, for this kind of um, odd looking house you see in the background and and also here. Uh, I've got a second one, which is even a little bit more different. <laughs> Um, but as you can see, this is an odd house because uh, it's got four sides and and a, a very interesting different kind of roof. Um, so let's just get right into it, shall we? So tip number one, this is super easy. You're going to think, um, uh, Frog Queen, uh, this is kind of obvious. But if you didn't know, this is the best way to do it when you're building your house. Make sure that each side of your house ends in an odd number. So that means uh, five, seven. Those are good numbers. <laughs> For dormers, I always like five, like this little balcony kind of thing up here. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five wide. Perfect, right? That's, that's what you want. Um, so that's tip number one. Odd numbers, they make the best roofs because then that allows you to put a full block on the top as the peak. And by doing that, you can then add your decor to your roof. After you've built the walls of your house, however high you want them to be, then like here, we'll just use this for example, very simple wall. Uh, then you need to decide which end of your house you would like to kind of be the focal point, um, of your home and of course you don't have to actually put the frame this beautiful frame part on the front of your house your front of your house could have a very uh, flat roof without a dormer in front at all dormers are these kind of framed windows if you will um, you could have just this whole roof flat across but um, I think that most of the time a little dormer like this really makes your house pop. So decide which side of your house you want to kind of show off. And uh, then we're going to build the framework first. And that's the big tip. Build the framework, this here, first. So what does that mean? Well, basically, we just always go one block off of the side of the wall. That's my number one tip and one block in front, just like that. So this is a very basic roof. Um, you've got regular stairs, stair blocks, and then regular plank blocks in combination. And this is the kind of, kind of Minecraft roof you see all the time. So once you've got this out like that, yeah, very descriptive. Um, we're gonna go stair block, then upside down stair block, just like that. Uh, then we're going to go regular, regular plank. And uh, then we're going to put another stair block on top of that. And then another one like that. And then we go back to the block. And then we go back to the stair block. And that's like, that's it. This is the center now. So right at the center, this is the peak. You're going to just want to put a full size block right there. That is really the basic roof. And look how easy that was. For the middle piece, I usually like to put an upside down stair just like that. But you don't have to. Of course not. You can use, you can do whatever you like. Some people like to put a trap door there for decoration. Let's see, what's our favorite trap door? Well, we'll use this one. So just like that. Beauty. And then of course you just match it onto the other side. Just do exactly the same thing. Always so much easier to do in creative, of course. So let's just do that. And we can get to the next tip. Boom. Boom. Beautiful. So easy. 
So then you'd want to bring this all the way across for however long your house is. Could be any length. Um, there you go. So then what's the next step? How do we make this look a little bit more fancy? Easy, easy. Tip number four is add a trim. So this looks a little boring and dull like this, right? So I like to add a little bit more flair. You can put an upside down step, stair right there and then another right side up. That gives it a totally different look like that. And then from here, you can change this out, get rid of those. And one of my favorites that I've used up here, those look nice, don't they? This trim, that's just a stair block. So we'll just walk along here and you can place them. Of course, we're just gonna have to, you know, place a couple blocks here first. <laughs> just like that. I love it. It's so pretty. That's it. Wow really coming along so simple additionally you want to make a trim for the roof that is also different from the rest of the roof so you notice I'm using spruce here and then jungle wood on the inside of the roof that's another added trim feature a few other uh, fun trims you can do up here if we just take away those we can Grab a fence, let me see, boom, any fence, any color. This is where you can kind of get creative on that too. We'll put those back, whoopsie. And we will build this out a little bit. And let's go like that. Nah, I don't like that one. Let's go, oh, let's just go like that. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Anyway, you can do whatever you like on the, on the end there. Um, and then we just put, put the fence there. Mm, better, we could go like this and then maybe like that. If it's a really big, big roof, something like that looks nice. Looks a little silly on a roof that's this tiny. Um, maybe, you know, you could. Just change it up a little bit. Make it sit a little bit lower, whoops. that sort of thing. Yeah, there you go, not bad. Maybe you just, there, like that. And of course, you know, you can get your iron rods. Those are great, depending on what kind of feel you're going for. And you can place those a bit further apart. Oh my goodness, you know, whatever you feel like. That's the beauty of these. Okay. Maybe a wall block. Just play around with it. See what you can come up with. Um, and of course, uh, slabs. Like that. And these little details are gonna add so much. Um, I especially like using a stone trim. So sometimes we'll take this out a bit further, especially if we want to make a balcony underneath this one. And we will just put a stone trim just like that. So again, depending on what kind of roof you've got, that could look really nice. Then you're just gonna fill it all in just like that. But real quick, before I give you my final tip for this video, take a second to comment in the comments below and tell me, uh, this is a secret code, say 10 minutes, you've made it, you're one of the rare people who've made it 10 minutes into the video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'd love to hear from you. That'll be our little code if you've made it. 
this far in the video, just comment 10 minutes. I'd love to hear what you think of the video. It means so much to me. All right, let's go. Let's get on with the video. Final tip, here we go. Use texture. So you can get texture in all kinds of different ways. Uh, one of the best ways is to incorporate uh, things like the different variations of a block. So in this case, we're using the stripped spruce uh, log. Um, and that's going to really add, add something special to this roof, for sure. Um, one of my favorite things to do is, of course, um, use these lovely deep slate tiles and pop one of the deep slate bricks in here and there. That does a roof a lot of justice. It looks really brilliant. So I, I highly suggest that pattern. But you can do this with any of the block combinations. And I think you're going to have an amazing, an amazing roof. I sometimes like to do this and just frame, whoops, frame, oh my goodness, frame along the bottom here, just like that. And of course, we don't want to ignore this. We kind of left this here hanging. There we go. And beautiful. Look how easy that was. Well, guys, that was super, super easy, right? Simple tips. You're going to be a pro if you follow these five little rules that I have started to live by <laughs> in all my house building. Thank you so much to everyone for watching this video all the way to the end. You guys are amazing. And thank you very much to all my amazing patrons. You guys totally help support this video and I thank you so much. And uh, until next time guys, keep mining, keep crafting, keep creating. Bye.